Walk with me. Could there be an agenda to keep Vax Cartel behind bars, even, even by his own defense team? If such is the case, right, then I don't think Vax Cartel will ever beat this appeal unless, unless, him switch up his defense team. Alright, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Today, guess what we're coming to talk about? Today, we're coming to talk about who is Vibes Cartel's leading attorney. In the wake of right now, Vibes Cartel is filing or getting ready to file his appeal, right? Because it has been said that the transcripts are in and everything is a go right now, right? Okay, so everybody is wondering. Someone brought up a very important point that I would like to talk about or address or try to encourage dialogue about them, right? And I don't get disrespectful to each other. Don't tell nobody about what's suck out their mother and them thing that. And I just keep the thing intelligent. If you don't have nothing for said, don't say anything. But don't stop disrespecting people because they are exercising their uh, right to free speech and uh, their right to a free chain of thought then. All right, so it go like this, people. Everybody knows about Tom Tavares Finson, right? And if you don't, I'm gonna read you a short excerpt, really quickly. So Tom Tavares Finson is a Jamaican attorney at law and a member of the Senate of Jamaica, right? Tavares Finson, when he's when he was in Barna, Kingston, and where he was educated in Canada and England and all them things, the Honorable Middle Test Society of the Middle Temple and them sitting there. He's a member of the Bar Association of Jamaica, the Advocates Association of Jamaica, the Lay Magistrates Association. He is also a member of the Senate of the Central Executive and Standing Committee of the Jamaica Labour Party. All right, all them big titles there. Senator Tavares Finson has been a nominated commissioner of the Electoral Commission of Jamaica since 2006 and previously served as a member of the Electoral Advisory Committee from 2005 to 2006. He also served as the director at DC Tavares and Finson Company Limited. He is married to Rose Tavares Finson, not Julia Gamana. They have a daughter, Rose Tavares Finson, and they have a daughter named Capri and a son named Roman, that is two children. He, Tom Tavares Finson, also has a son named Kristen and a daughter named Leah. Leah, one of the bad man. Ha! Uh, Leah, anyway, and a daughter named Leah, one of the daughter research, named Leah, from a previous marriage to Cindy Brake Spear. All right, so... So, that's a little rundown of who Vance Carter's leading attorney is, right? Someone brought up something that I felt needed to be discussed. And here, here's what they said. Here's what they said. They said, after watching the entire process unfold of the whole case and hearing the notes, the, 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 hearing the audio of what transpired in the courtroom, it's safe to say that a top tier attorney like Tom Tavares Finson and his team, to include Kristen Tavares Finson, his son who is also an attorney, who was also uh, representing Vice Cartel, because a family business, they did not do their best. They were not aggressive at proving that their client was not guilty. They never pulled all the stops they could have pulled. And people are wondering why. And some people are saying that I dash them, dash them client under the bus. They are draining his finances and at the same time working with the people that want to keep Vice Cartel where he is, which is locked up, right? But selling him false hope at the same time. Me no put nothing past no man for earth. Understand? But if those that are conspiring to keep him behind bars also involves the same people them that he's going to put his trust in to go on this appeal for him and fight for his defense and his right to be free, right? I think he's going to be there for 35 years. Me no know. In other words, this is Junior Gong's stepdaddy. Junior Gong's stepdad is Vibes Cartel's leading attorney. Uno don't see where, Uno don't see where there could be some, even if it's not, it has nothing to do with Junior Gong. It, don't, don't you see where it could be like, if the youth have come out and dominate a certain aspect of the business, 
So, in other words, then people, I'm cut it short and say it like this. Murder the competition. Murder the competition. I'm going to leave you to use your own chain of thought for that part right there. Alright? Conflict of interest. Then is what I'm bringing about. Me love enough for all say, you see you so flow TV. You see you, yes man, you see me. Me love to think outside of the box. Me tell us that we live on earth, we live in a place where demons show up in an angel clothing. We live in a place where the closest people to you are the most dangerous people around you. Are, and and are, the most, are, are the people that are um, most likely to harm you. So we don't put nothing past nobody. The people we entrust with our head back on this earth here, more than likely are one of them people that are going to shell out with head back. You understand? It goes like that in these times. Alright? So, I don't want nobody to come up here with them ignorance. I want people to come with their intelligence and let's have one discussion. Do you really believe that? Do you really believe that Vice Cartel's own, own is there a possibility? that Vibes Cartel's own defense team might be working at making sure that he remains behind bars. Yes? No? And if so, why? Let me give you a little rundown about Tom Tafari's Pinson. He is no stranger. Not to mention he's a high-powered politician in Jamaica, you know. He's also a high-powered attorney. Not just a high-powered attorney for, say, regular people who might have little money that can afford a high-powered attorney. He is a high-powered attorney for the stars as well. For instance, he has represented Grace Jones, Gregory Isaac, Big Youth, Bounty Killer, Movado, Shabba Rankin, and Sean Paul. Watch this. Grace Jones. He got Grace Jones acquitted of cocaine charges. So police were tipped off. They raided a mansion in Jamaica. And in that mansion where Grace Jones was staying, Tavares Finson said a small portion, Tom Tavares Finson said, or Thomas Tavares Finson said, a small portion of cocaine was found. Of those charges, he had... Grace Jones walked free and was acquitted. That's one. Gregory Isaacs. Gregory Isaacs in his heyday, big time. Gregory Isaacs had gun, two gun charges, and cocaine charges. Or one gun charge and two cocaine charges. It was one of the other. He had Gregory Isaacs thing done away with. Big youth. I don't know what big youth's um I don't know what big youth's charges were, but let's just say Mr. Finson handled it and nothing came of it. Sean Paul. Sean Paul, I don't know bad man. Sean Paul, Sean Paul, go for our stage show people. And go cuss two bad words after them tell him say nothing go for the stage, go cuss no bad word. And him drop it, the biggest high power liar in Jamaica. Right when, right when them said I'm going to find him. Them said we're going to find him $500,000. Sean Paul said, mm-mm. Tom Tavares Finson, come here. Tom Tavares Finson went in there and made sure that Sean Paul actually paid 100 bucks. Just saying. Nothing big. It wasn't murder. It wasn't gun charges and cocaine charges like Grace Jones and Greg Isaacs them. Let's not forget Bounty Killer and Movado. Both had gun charges and shooting charges. Tom Tavares Finson represented both of them respectively, separately, and got both of them acquitted. So if you're wondering if he's a high power attorney, knows his way around the courtroom or um, that kind of something there, yes, he is. And he's proven it time and time again. Okay? Shabarankin, the big great Shabarankin, who came under scrutiny, not scrutiny, I should say, came under charges for assault, dropped the Tom Tavares Finson and Mr. Tom Thomas Tavares Finson made sure that Shabarankin was acquitted of those charges. So, people, we have to think about this one myself. Because one time somebody
somebody suggested to me first in my inbox, somebody link me today, let me grab my phone. Somebody link me today and said something to me. Now go in my inbox right now. Somebody linked me today and said something to me. Alright. And I remember hearing the closing argument by a high-powered attorney like Mr. Thomas Tavares Finson. And I hope he's watching SoFlo TV right now. Okay? But I'm belittling you, sir. I'm just saying that in my opinion as well, and this is the reason why this person that made this statement to me here in the email this is the reason why it resonates with me so much because I haven't said anything about it because I me used to think said me are the only one what did I think like this but apparently I'm not okay other people saw the same thing that I saw and they're saying the same things that I was thinking so it lets me know that there are like-minded people out there and I have to bring this thing to the forefront so Amen. Uh, it says, Mr. Soflo, I don't want to marry it. And then if, if the person said in here, if the person said in here, don't say my name, I'm not going to say their name. So it says, Mr. Soflo, as I was saying, that Vibes Cartel is getting a lot of fight from the bigger heads and authorities, as we all know. My stepsister is a part of the attorney group that's defending Sean Storm in the trial. And after they were sentenced, I met up with her and she was saying that Cartel is a murderer and he deserves to be in prison and he's responsible for Sean Storm being in this situation because Sean is not no violent person. Yes, I would expect her to defend her client, but at the same time, she's blaming someone else for his downfall. I was a little bit surprised at her saying this because... Even though each person in the trial had their own attorney, I would expect that the other lawyers would fight him down as well. If these attorneys don't believe in their client, trust me, they won't put in the work. So, in other words then, he's saying that Mr. Thomas Tavares Finson them do not believe in the innocence of Vibes Cartel or they have ulterior motives conflicts of interest so they're not putting in the proper work to get the man free so flow TV when I like comment share and subscribe and talk to me upon this one because this is one where we have to really go talk about I have to put all my faith and trust in Tom Tavares Finson and his team they have a lengthy track record and their track record has been successful, right? Anybody who is in trouble with a draw, if you have the resources to do so, who's going to find yourself, if, you have a, um, if, you, if, you're having, if you're having a sickness, an illness, and you have money, you have a draw for the best doctor that money can buy to make sure say, you or your family member overcome this illness and can live the next couple of years of life, right? If you're in trouble with the law, you're going to draw, if you have the money, the resources, you're going to draw for the attorney with the, 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 the long, extensive, proven record that he can go to court, take high-profile people, and beat case, case after case after case after case after case, right? I think that is what Vance Cartel and his advising team did. They went for the Finsons, okay? Tavares Finson them might have approached. I don't know how it came together, but I was also doing some research on the children. And Leah, their daughter, when I said earlier, Leah the one that loved Batman, I'm a laugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm a son of a doing the research. Well, maybe I like an insight that you can do your research. Remember Batman in Jamaica with a name Dog Park? Alright, remember a situation where they go on around a Kentire? Leah was arrested. Okay? Leah was arrested. Along, Leah was arrested around a Kentire. Some bad man things surrounding the whole thing. Me not go going too much into that. But when they did her interview in 2010, we in 2016, when they did her interview in 2010, they asked her who was her favorite artist. 
See, Leia said, Vibes Cartel, in 2010, Tom Tavares Finson's daughter, Junior Gong's sister, said, Vibes Cartel was her favorite artist, and her brother too, Junior Gong. But she said, Vibes Cartel first, okay? They asked her some more things, and she said stuff like, uh, the most disheartening thing to her is to see a country that is so beautiful go down the drain because of all these corrupted people that are leading the country. They are robbing the country blind and starving the country of opportunities for the working class and for the, um, the generation that's coming up on them kind of something there. The, the lack of education and all these kinds of things she'd have talked about. So, it's a very real girl and she said some very real things. I draw onto that just to say that there, there are no strangers to certain things. The basis of this video today, though, I'm going to have to give you a little insight, but the basis of this video today was to really look into what someone sent me on my phone where I said that could there be an agenda to keep Cartel behind bars even by his own defense team. I hope somebody from the Marley clan or the Finson clan are stable actually actually pay attention to what is going on here on SoFlo TV especially this particular reasoning and watch what the people them are saying gauge what the people have to say okay because like I said this struck a chord for me and that's why I'm going to do the video on it because when the trial did I go on I realized that I'm a person that loves to argue I realized that in, I argue intelligently I realized that his team actually did not go. They never gun. They never gun it like they were supposed to. They weren't acting as if it, as if it was uh, an emergency. They weren't acting as if, uh, hey, we need to get that youth here out of there right now. You understand? He, he, he don't deserve to be in there. We need to get. That's how I would want my attorneys to be acting, especially I'm in Northern Ireland and we for free. So if me, if, if my name is Vice Cartel. Me, I am at the top of the genre. The whole world know about me, even though me can't even fly out, but I can fly in Mercedes Benz and them thing that me a little big life, my heart right now, and them kiss me up like this, and I came and got you, and I'm shelling off my dollars for you to defend me. I would hate to see you come in the courtroom and say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well, judge, and yes, and we accept the verdict, and uh, we will appeal. I don't want to hear none of that. I want some lawyer to step in there and, and, and go aggressively at everybody where my question and turn the thing upside down on its head and be outraged and make people pay attention. I didn't see that. I didn't see the urgency and I, I, I didn't see where they actually stood up to his defense as his defense team. So, I'm going to let it right there on SoFloor TV and a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to let go on. Let us know what you think about it. Do you really think that there's a conspiracy to keep Cartel behind bars? And it could very well be so that even his own immediate defense team, to include uh, Tom Tavares Finson or Thomas Tavares Finson, is a part of that. I did another video on the channel where may I say, yes, freedom look like it'll come. But right now, we're we'll looking at the thing from a different angle. So walk with me and talk with me intelligently. So Flow TV, man, I'm up out of here. Peace.